Hi guys, welcome back. So for the first time ever, I'm going to do something that I've never done on this channel. Now, this car was meant to be introduced and I was going to do a lot of testing on it and obviously develop products based behind this car. Now, this video is going to be the introduction to the Tiguan and also the exit video for the Tiguan. So it's going to be a two-in-one video. Um, I'm not fully introducing this because after this video, you will never see this car. Um, but basically, well, the purpose of this video is this is a wash and shat category video. So I'm going to be washing the car slow time and I'm going to be showing you, talking about ideas, showing a bit of the new stuff that I've got here in development. And um, yeah, we're going to be talking why I'm getting rid of this car. But before we go any further, this car's going. Comment down in the comment section. What do you think the replacement is going to be? Now, could be anything. But I'll leave that one up to you and I'll be interested to hear your thoughts, what you think the car to replace will be this. All right, so I haven't done a washing shot in a long time. But again, the trusty Kranzel pressure washer package um, connect to the SGS28. Now, you know I've got the land systems already in place. Now, I've always said they're going to be the V1 Lancers, so maybe eventually we'll have to do a version 10 eventually when we start getting bigger and better parts. Now, I'm developing the Ultimate Gun as well. Now, again, the SGS28, I think, is just the market industry baseline to where the premium quality is. And again, I got interrupted. Um, but I think, again, you can tweak this gun to make it better in terms of feel and functionality. So I will touch on the gun a little bit later on, but in terms of the lance, now I don't know if you can see this, but this is um, a whole different design. So basically well, what I've done is I haven't bent the lance because I didn't want to waste my time with it. This is obviously, I, I, would n I don't like a straight lance. It has its advantages, but in, in terms of my world, I don't really need one. So again, this would usually have a bend now, what I've done on the outlet is I've installed a T304 stainless um, coupler. Now, the few people who have seen in this, this in real life will know that it is just an unbelievable kind of attachment onto the gun. Now, this is very good, okay? So on SGS28, the draw is very nice. Now, when you start talking the draw on this T304, um, coupler is unbelievable so it is manufactured milled machined even um, in Switzerland so it's the most expensive part of its type in the world now you cannot get any better for this at all guaranteed um, I know it is a very similar style coupler to the Mosmatic one but then again I think we've slightly improved on it as well but also what I'm trialing as well as you can see again this will never replace the MTM tips it is what it is um, but with this basically it's got a quarter inch on the inlet and it's got again the same orifice and the same um, fan pattern as the current fixed lancers now what you do look at that so so this makes this into a 40 degree fan but again i do listen to people and people say look nick i've bought your pressure wash package and i want maybe a lance where you can interchange the angles of the spray pattern so imagine they're doing i don't know kind of um pressure washing the floor let's say so they want the extra boost so if you do want it you then take this off you'll have an empty one like this and then you will just attach your red mtm tip which is again zero degrees and you go and pressure wash your floors but with this the beauty of it again you can put this on the lance you're going to see it in a minute but then also if you want which is what i'm currently going to do is you attach it onto your gun and it looks like this now if you look inside there there's your um kind of spray pattern with the right orifice so this has got the 4.0 orifice which is just right for the 1152 that i'm currently using from krenzler but if you look so pressure the spray pattern is just right it's getting the right flow rate and it's getting the right psi out at the tip and that's what you want so again i'm going to use this 
Now, as you can see, look, I'm, I'm even going to show you with my hand. The pressure is that perfect that it won't hurt me. So, we fire this now. It does not hurt my hand, which is what you want. If it doesn't hurt your hand, it will not hurt the paint. Um, so that's where I'm currently at with something like this. I'm testing this, but I think this is going to, again, kind of come into existence very soon. Or it might be an additional add-on where if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. So I'm going to give you my thoughts again with this. This is kind of um, a 10 in one video to where I'm going to obviously talk about why um, I'm selling this, but then also kind of show you some of the new stuff that I'm currently got my teeth sunk in. So here we go. Look, it's instant. I mean, these wheels are trashed. I haven't been washed in a while. Now, again, I'm starting. It's a, a big old bottle. Um, I'm starting a project of chasing some new bottles. And this is not to replace my existing ones. This is going to be to have an add-on. So whether it's um, a mixing bottle or a dilution bottle, I don't know. Again, don't forget, undress is unbelievable on the archers. But yeah, in here is you've got the undress. So as I said, I've got the undress in here. And basically, I'm, I'm just exploring an option. So I've started with the easiest one to find, okay? Um, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna test it whether I like it, I wanna see how it holds the best and the worst product. So again, Undress um, is not pH neutral. So again, PET isn't really designed for non-pH neutral products. And I just want to really see how it holds up, but then eventually I'm gonna go into the bigger leagues, the proper leagues as I call it. So you've got um, Marilex, they do pump sprays though mainly. You've got IK, they've just released a new kind of triggered bottle. And then who is it? I can't remember, it's, um, yeah, I'll, I'll remember the name of the bottle in a second. But there's another one, I think it's German. So I'm just chasing it now. We're gonna probably make our own labels um for the different applications and kind of see what people like basically you can mix in it you can actually put bigger quantities so again in this you can put this as a full liter so we can see if kind of it, it's better for people the professionals i mean i use quite a lot of product obviously because i watch a lot of cars so i just want to see exactly how it kind of fares to my standards but then again i'll be curious just please let me know in in the comments what your opinion is of bigger bottles now we've had a lot of people ask as well are you, you going to do the one liter variant potentially obviously save the world and all that um again i don't know before i pull the trigger on anything as all of you now already know there has to be done a lot of research i have to use it myself I have to break it, see how long it lasts before it breaks. And then if I find that, you know, all these things to be acceptable figures, as I say, then yeah, we're gonna go with it. But before then it could take me a year, it could take me a month to research. But then again, this is why I ask you to leave the comments in the, in the comment section. Because I'm curious, because again, it's not all about me, this brand, it's about you guys. I mean, you've driven the brand to levels I could never imagine already. So I need to ask the opinion of the people who matter most, which is you. As you can see, these tires and wheels needed it by the looks of it. Also, I forgot to mention, so obviously this current setup that I've got in the short gun configuration, it's still got um, the protection tip that I kind of found and kind of tweaked a little bit. So when it touches the paint, it's not gonna hurt. Now, when, when you're talking something like this, 
Now, if that's going to touch the paint, it's, I'm not even going to try it there. Um, yeah, it's T3 or 4 stainless steel. It's going to put a hole in your car. So I think this is just beautiful because you can, you can get right up close and personal and still be safe. So it's the, I've, I've gone for the 50-50 design, so it's the hard, soft, uh, um, as they call it. So it's the, the hard plastic is nowhere near your car. So it's here and then the soft plastic again, where you can potentially touch the car. So yeah, I'm curious. I've already introduced you two things um, that I'm working on. Potentially, it's just I want to provide you the best. I always tell people that you don't ever have to buy from me. If you want, to, if you're a price-based person and you just want something, so for example, spray gun. If you want to go and buy yourself for seventeen pound fifty-one off um, Amazon, you're more than welcome to. There's nothing wrong with that. But I will never chase uh, that side of the market. It's and I'm really transparent with this. If if you like cheap, you know, I say off you go. And that's not a problem. There are kind of cheap things that people go for and there's very premium things. And so when I'm working on these ridiculous attachments that um, it's basically a solution to a problem that you kind of don't have really, but once you have it so when i tried this for the first time i thought wow how come i didn't have this um previously everything that we do is unbelievable but again as you know technology moves on things improve so you always have to kind of catch up with the times almost and provide you guys with what you want so and so far with with the amount of orders you've been putting through for uh, various things, it, you know, I, I think me and Kelly are on are onto something really good. But yeah, this is going to be. I'm going to do the introduction part of this. This is a weird video. I'm introducing a car that I'm selling. But yeah, I haven't given, if you actually watch my Instagram, so we're mainly active on Instagram. Again, it duplicates the post to Facebook, but usually Instagram is our area of expertise. And if, if you are on Instagram and you follow me and Kelly and our journey, then you'll see that I've put no hints about this at all. In fact, this car was meant to be getting its introduction post uh, on YouTube. Basically what I'm doing now, but then just introducing it. It was meant to be done in a couple of weeks time and our plans were it. Now we've, um, we've made a decision to go and to go and sell it. So the reason we bought this car was a couple of reasons. Now it's four wheel drive. Kelly wants four wheel drive. Obviously she wants a fun car too. Obviously, so that's the, that's the role of the GTS and she drives it just as much as I do. Now we wanted like a utilities vehicle, you know, um, in the winter time, if, if we're doing a long journey somewhere, obviously now that the restrictions are starting to lift, if we are going to go uh, back into Europe and, it, and we get caught in the storm or something, it's nice to have four wheel drive uh, reliability. So that's probably the main reason is the reliability now. The reason why we chose this kind of specific spec, we, we did try and go for like the best spec uh, possible. Now we we did actually eye up, I think, I can't remember the official VW name, but some kind of pearl black or metallic black that they had in this car. But we actually kind of, uh, we, we lost opportunity because uh, the dealership never informed us that it was already kind of under offer. Well, it doesn't matter, but the most specific spec that we looked for in a car like this is basically, it had it to be the highest spec that this Tiguan can go to, which is the twin turbo, which is what this is. So this is a twin turbo, it, it's a two liter. So again, don't get me wrong, it's not got super, uh, super car performance. However, zero to 60 times in this, it, it, it'll embarrass most sports cars and it'll embarrass even some rear wheel kind of cars as well. I'm sure if, if I came that in the GTS, until I got traction, this car would have an edge. 
But yeah, it's got the full nav pack. It's got uh, full leather interior, all these type of things. I'm sure we also went for, but that's more for the comfort side. But the other main deciding factor as well was we needed something that was like a daily driver. Because again, don't forget if, if it's really bad weather, I mean, we do live in England. It could be like now it's like 22 degrees overcast, lovely to wash cars in. Um, but one day I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and it could be raining. So we kind of needed a car that was a daily driver in all weathers. And I also wanted to work on white. Now, again, I can't develop a product specific for white because it's not the white that you're polishing. It's like the clear coat, obviously clear coat's clear. Um, but I just wanted to see how we can develop products around kind of reverber reverberating the light in a certain way to make white look a lot more crisp, let's say. So obviously we've had this car now since, um, in fact, it's June, June last year we had it since. So it's, in fact, Jesus, it's, it's a year now. It's exactly a year. And um, yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't introduce a pride to this, but we had a lot going on. As you know, we, um, I got rid of the Mustang last year as well for the GTS. And yeah, just, I should have done the introduction last year and started more testing on it. Again, I have been doing testing in the background. It's just you guys have never seen it, but it wasn't really a priority for me at the time to actually film the development of anything that we were working on. So yeah, that is kind of the story of why we got this car. It's been a lovely car. As I said, you know, the power is actually, um, it's quite addictive. If I'm completely honest with you, you can put your foot down in any weather. I've even tried this in the snow and it just hooks up really well. Again, you've seen that I changed around the, the old tires for the, for the Michelin's PS4s is also a bonus and ever since then the car's been like glue so yeah it's a major shame that we didn't get to show you guys more of this car and to be fair it was never in the plan to, to get rid of it as quick as we are doing now um, usually we do actually believe it or not like to keep our cars for a very long time where applicable However, it's just, yeah, Kelly's not really a fan. I mean, she wasn't really even keen on it from the start. At the end of the day, it's, it's a very nice car for what it is, you know, four-wheel drive and the safety element of it. But Kelly was just like, you know, I've tried it and now I want to try something else, which is, I think, respectable, really. So what we have coming in is is really quite cool I think it's it's very weird as well in fact I'm not going to give you any more hints as to why I'm doing what I'm doing with Kelly so you can have a good hint but it's currently Thursday so I don't know when I'm picking it up the cars the car's all paid for, everything is sorted, and the dealership that we're buying it from is one of the best in the country. And they basically said, don't rush us. So I, I thought, phew, I respect really for that. So they said, we'll be ready when we're ready and we want the car perfect. So I'm, I'm going to give them all the time that they need. So anyway, that is the... That is the intro video to the car done. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna skip a few steps kind of video in the car. You've seen me rinse and foam the car. I need to do this in a respectable amount of time today. So again, the car will be rinsed and foamed and triple foamed as and where applicable, but for the purpose of this video, you will not need to see it. So I'm going to cut the bits to where I'm basically just talking the best bits. <laughs> so I've got my citrus mixed five to one. So 
So in terms of this, because it's another one litre bottle that I'm testing. Same type, but just a, a different manufacturer. I'm seeing which one's more durable. So yeah, five to one in a one litre bottle. So we've got 200 mil um, of citrus to 800 mil. Is that right? Yes, it is. So yeah, this is, it's a fairly strong dilution. But then again, I want to give this more of a kind of, because this car's going to be washed in about two, three weeks. It's more of a decon wash too. Pull anything and grained out. And then we'll add the last step, which of course is some very nice uh, glossy protection and then we'll be done. So again, I'm going to still follow the same rules of washing that I always do so I'm going to over um, I'm going to foam over the citrus now just to let that dwell so again I'm going to probably put about 200 mil of foam in just to give it the extra bite rinse and then I'm going to move on to the double um, the foam again so that's the secondary foam of the yum wash Again, about 150 mLs. In the Canon, I'm going to be using the new Obsessed Garage Quick Disconnect Kit. So again, it's going to be with our PF22.2 um, system connected to the SDS28. But then on top of that, it's going to be added to the Quick Disconnect Kit. And you're going to see it in a minute. It looks so cool. Um, yeah, and I'm going to just wash it, dry it, and do no polishing, no clay or anything like that. Just, I know this car is okay, but then again, I just want to hand over a car in very nice condition. Again, the reason I'm doing this um, wash as well, if we do find anything, you know, like if there's a little ding or scratch or anything like that, that I'm not aware of then I will kind of rectify that. Just give this car back in the same condition we took it over in. In fact, it's not the same condition, it's gonna be better, obviously, because when we received it, it was horrific. But to give you an example, I've done the car, I mean, again, I've been a bit heavy handed with it, but I probably got just under half. Now, usually citrus is used for the lower part, so I probably would have done three quarters of the bottle remaining so a litre bottle at my dilution ratio is probably three cars um, again you can go a lot stronger with it so 200 mils of our foam look at this beauty we almost dropped it um, there we go look at that so the QD package first time it's been used since I, um, I filmed that video Lovely. Um, so yeah, so 200 mil, 800 mil of water, all the way to the top. I just want to give it a thick layer to where it has a bit, um, obviously it's got a wet agent already in, so it's going to make the citrus last a little bit longer on the surface, giving it more work time. In fact, I've decided for the purpose of this video, I won't be doing um, double foam because I've got a new shampoo formulation um, that I want to test for slickness and stuff like that. But here's what a lance looks like, obviously, with those two attached. So I'll just be using that. Well, I've just been using it for the final rinse and stuff. But again, I'm going to froth the bucket up. normal fashion yeah so new shampoo I might as well try it do one last test on this car but here's the exit interview part first of all why am I going to the effort of doing quite a thorough clean on a car that I'm handing over in the next probably three to four days. 
I just, I've always had this tradition. So if you remember on the Mercedes, I had some actually kind comments about it. So basically when I did the, the takeover detail, I thought, you know, that's what you do with a car, you know, you build a bond. So it's the same thing with a handover. I might just be built different to people, but there we go, look at that foam. The first dip is always never impressive with any shampoo. Again, the wash mitt pad, whatever you use, isn't um, as absorbent, but now that it's been wet once, it foams up beautifully, but in fact, you know, with this, wa with this wash mitt, again, look, it's white. It's had, again, a decent pre-wash. And there's nothing, as you can see, it's perfectly clean. The reason why I went for white, because you can see everything. That's just how, it's a good indicator of just how good your pre-wash is. But yeah, I just want to hand it over. I want the people, people who buy this car next, I want them to enjoy it. You know, part of that enjoyment straight away is to drive away in a lovely clean car. I mean, yeah, the dealers are going to probably clean it, but I know I've done my bit. And that's what makes me sleep well at night. Doing my bit, people are going to love it. It's got some beautiful protection on here. So, what more could I want? Um, but yeah, the handover part now, it's, um, it's getting cleaned. Like I said, the car's already been paid for. I mean, the next car, paperwork completed. Because of COVID rules and stuff, it's... Um, most of it was done over the phone or electronically. But I am going to try and film some sort of it. Um, if I can't, you know, like I did with the GTS and stuff, if I can't, then it's fine because this dealership is quite um, a big one. So there's people there, so I'm not showing their uh, privacy laws. But might as well ask yeah this this is more than likely the last car wash this car will ever see from myself it's been an experience we did some good miles in it which is what i always look for you know you buy these things to drive not show queens but again the other shame is you never got to see me do my usual corrections and all this with this car but not to worry because the next car is something I have personally I've worked on these type of things as a professional but I've never had to look after it day in day out personally so it's um, it's what's well, one of the reasons why we're buying that specific spec because it's all about, like I always say to people who ask me for business advice, I always say, look, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So this is just another feather in the cap to our marathon. And I think this will actually do me and Kelly some good uh, business development wise. Uh, it's a fairly quick wash. Get the contaminants off, I'll blow the car off. Again, the sun's peaked out, of, I'm not worrying. My shampoo's ready for the sun. But yeah, I'm gonna just rinse it off. Um, I'm gonna skip that step on camera, but rinse it off and then blow dry, put some new tie dressing on again. New tie conditioner, I need to start calling it a conditioner. And then that'll be it. So we've got my little cordless blower. 
And as I said, the car's very well protected, so it'll be easy for us just to drive pretty much 95% with air. Top to bottom, the usual. The usual way. Right, so the car's blown off. Again, waffle weave, boom and the famous detail spray. So again, there's probably a little bit of, the bugs are coming. Uh, there's a little bit of water left. And this is why now we're gonna use this as a drying method. I've used pure water on the final rinse. So again, I'm not fussed about what's gonna happen in the sun. Pre-prime the towel and just dry it. I'm gonna do the interior on another video, probably, well, another day to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's the car done. I'm gonna moisturize the rubbers, the tires. Again, another product in the pipeline. By the way, that product is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't even describe to you just the, the cross-platforming that it can be used with. Again, just like with a washman, just I like to flip t um, sides of the towel. Just in case, again, you've missed something because you're all human. But yeah, that product, whew, you're going to see another variant of it now. I think this is version 57. <laughs> but even version 1 was amazing, but I'm just trying to make it. I think this will be one of these products that I look back into the future and say, wow, you know, a lot of development went into this, a lot of time. There's a, a bigger team around me this time, around this product. So, yeah, one of these products in the future, yes, people say, you know, it's unbelievable. New technology, which is the most important thing. I like to innovate as much as I can. Again, there are tire dressings out there. This is not a dressing. That's this first USP. The second one being, it's um, how it's, it can be used in, in, in multiple applications. I don't think there's a product out there that can do it. So I do like to innovate where I can. So as you can see, look, I'm using the one towel method. There's no streaks, which is the best thing. You just wipe, walk away, set Flevin formula. Obviously you've seen me use the new shampoo. I'm trying to now not reformulate anything, but trying to improve it as and where I can, because I think our shampoo, when did we launch? 2019? Yeah, so 2019. So what's that, two years? There's always an improvement to be made. No matter who you are, technology moves on. So yeah, that shampoo, again, that, that's a slow burner project. Our shampoo already is very, very, very good. But, like I say, if you can boost it 15 to 20%, if you can, obviously, that's always the question, hence why we're trying to do it now. Um, if you can't, or we break the formula, at least then I've tried. But, sorry you didn't get to see more of this car, guys. It's actually quite a nice car. Yeah, it's a VW, it has its Audi characteristics, it's had its simple characteristics. But what it does have, it's that German feel. These bugs are coming everywhere now. Yeah, so it's got that German feel, probably reliable. <laughs> Again, there's going to be somebody in the comments saying, well, I broke mine. Usually, 95% of them are that reliable, so we've had no issues with this. It's a shame because about three, 400 miles ago, we put on brand new PS4s. Again, these ties aren't cheap. <laughs> but <laughs> the people who are getting the next are going to have a hell of a car. Um, but the new car, yeah, guys, you're just going to wait. I'm not going to give you any hints. 
no brand manufacturer hints. It's just, um, I think I, when I was watching the reviews, it was, it was voted pretty much unanimously. Again, there'll be a few people say, well, somebody said this, yeah. But you know, as a industry average, there was a unanimous answer that it's the best type of car in its class. Now, I've given you enough hints. Comment down below what you think it is. But yeah, I'm gonna do again an introduction 100%. That car's getting introduced to the channel. We're gonna to look to keep this car for quite a while. Um, and then just, yeah, see how we can improve it. So, final time, we're gonna see this Tiguan. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got some of this product on now. We've, um, we're going with, uh, we've tried a different color basically. So today it's like a cream color, it's all good. Um, but as, as I said, this is a moisturizer. Now look, the tire, the reason I've chosen this tire uh, to show you best, it's actually baked off in the sun, but you're just gonna see the finish now. Watch, so it spreads weirdly. It's already leaving a film, right? But the whole purpose behind this is you massage it. Look, there's no drag, there's no resistance. Now, the beauty of it is, see, it's done. Now, I always like to just work it in. Just a habit. Get into all the edge work. And look at that, boom. Now, you can leave this finish as it is, and we'll go to a satin finish. You can immediately, so you know now, while it's still wet, you can you can uh, buff it down if you want. Personally, I just leave the finish as it is. Now, again, it's amazing on trims. Now, watch this. Just a one pass. Done, undone. Let me show you from a different angle. Look at that. What a beauty. So obviously you could see where I've been, where I haven't been. There, I see just constantly making new boundaries. And that is how you moisturize plastic and rubber. I'm gonna work this scene. Again, there's gonna be a dedicated video for this within the membership area. And I can show you its various uses. I'm not showing this on YouTube. If you want to see it, join the membership. And yeah, what an amazing product. And the most important thing, I mean, look, I've just re-wiped it. Try to the touch. So guys, thank you all for watching my intro and exit interview and hope you've enjoyed it. Again, I've missed a few bits out. Um, because you've seen and this is not a fully dedicated wash and talk but I just wanted to speak about some of the reasons we're selling and some of the reasons we're buying the new um, Yumcars vehicle so like I said leave your suggestions or your guesses in the comments below thank you all for supporting it's kind of us to get even a car like this it's a very nice car um, you know it served its purpose and now I think it's time just to move on to better like things really so um hopefully the new owner of this will love it they're gonna um, enjoy the car for what it is it's been cleaned it's been prepped by me so i can sleep easy at night like i said but apart from that guys stay tuned for the new car again a lot of a lot of the reveal stuff will be on instagram so yum cars official if you want to see it and as always hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll catch you on the next one